This will be a guided practice of attributes of cubic and quartic functions. We're going to go over the degree, the name, is it odd or even, what is the leading coefficient, and the end behavior. So this is uh, Teek's Algebra 2, 2a for the cubic function, and quartic is going to be an extension of that. So first we start off talking about what is standard form. Well, standard form is going to be when the polynomial is written with the exponents in descending order, which means highest exponent, which will be your n, to your lowest exponent. So if n is 5, then the next one is 4, and the next one is 3, and so on. Some of the most important things here is this a sub n. Guys, this is going to be a number. It's going to be the number in front, the coefficient of the x with the highest degree. So these are the most important things here. Your leading coefficient, and we're going to need to know if it's positive or negative, and our degree is going to be our highest exponent, okay? These are some of the common polynomials. You did constant, linear, and quadratic in Algebra 1, and we're going to work on cubic and quartic in this video. So cubic will have an x cubed, and quartic will have an x to the fourth power. So let's just talk about the degree, and is it odd or even, and let's go ahead and fill in these blanks. So I'm going to do the first two questions. The degree is going to be my highest exponent. So in this case, my highest exponent is a 3, and that's an odd. That's going to help us with end behavior to know it's odd. Odd means my n values, one will be going up, one will be going down. What's the name? If it's a third degree, the name is a cubic. So when it says type or name, it's going to be cubic. My leading coefficient is the number in front of where x cubed is. So my number in front is going to be a 1. Because remember, if you don't see a number, it's always a 1. So let me try the second one now. My degree is going to be my highest exponent. My highest exponent is 4, and 4 is even which means both of my endpoints will be going in the same direction. A fourth power is called a quartic. And the leading coefficient is this number in front of my x to the fourth. So my leading coefficient is 5. So go ahead and pause this video and try practice question number 1 on your own. So go ahead and check your work there and see if you got these right. It's a fourth degree, which is an even number. The name of a fourth degree is quartic. And my leading coefficient is 2. Let's go ahead and try practice number 2 on your own. Go ahead and pause this video here and do practice number 2. Check your work there. My degree is a third power, which is odd. The name of a third power polynomial is a cubic. And my leading coefficient is negative 2. So why was this odd important and even important? And what's the purpose of my leading coefficient? Well, it's going to help us with end behavior. So end behavior is where are my endpoints going? Okay. So notice these endpoints here. So my end behavior is describing what's happening to the graph. So each graph is going to have two parts of the end behavior. You have the left side and the right side. This, will, this bottom line will never change. On the left side, x is always approaching negative infinity. On the right side, x is always approaching positive infinity. So that arrow reads approaches. What's going to change is this top line f of x is approaching negative infinity. This means the graph. This means my polynomial. So this graph is going down forever, and this side is going up forever. So notice here at this table, if the degree is odd, if it's to the third power, fifth power, seventh power, it doesn't matter. If my degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, the graph is going to look like this in some form or fashion. What matters here is my end behavior. This dashed line means it doesn't matter what's happening here. What matters is where the arrows are going. So let me go ahead and do example number one for you. The degree of this is my highest exponent, which is 4, and that's an even number. My leading coefficient is 5, and it's a positive number. So what's my end behavior? So if I look at this chart, if it's even, I know I'm going to have 
either two facing up or two facing down. That's one of these two. So see degree even, degree even. Now it's positive, which means both of them are going to be facing up. So it doesn't matter what's happening to this graph down here. What matters is my end behavior. I care about where these arrows are going. So I have the left side and the right side. So for my left arrow, my graph, my function of x is approaching, it's going up forever. And x on the left is always my negative infinity because my x is negative infinity. On the right side, this is always my positive infinity x. But what's happening to my graph? My function is approaching positive infinity as x is also approaching positive infinity. So go ahead and pause this video here and try practice number one on your own. Okay, go ahead and check your work here. Because it's odd and negative, it's going to look similar to this. Notice where my arrows are going. So in red, I have the function is approaching positive infinity and x is approaching negative infinity. On the right side, I have the function is approaching negative infinity because it's going down forever as x is approaching positive infinity. Okay, we're going to do this one more time and I'll give you guys another practice one. So my degree on this one is 3, which is an odd number. My leading coefficient is 2, which is a positive number. So what's happening to my end behavior? So odd positive. Okay, it would actually match this graph here, odd and positive. So what's happening on the left side of my graph? My function is going down forever to negative infinity as x is approaching negative infinity. And on the right side, notice where my arrow is going. My function is approaching positive infinity as my x is approaching positive infinity. So the last practice question of the day, go ahead and pause this video here and try practice question number two on your own. Okay, go ahead and check your work here. This is an even degree and it's negative, which means they're both going to be facing down because this is what it matches. So on the left side in red, my function is approaching negative infinity because it's going down forever as x approaches negative infinity. In blue, I have this function is also going down forever, but on this side of my graph, my x is always approaching positive infinity. Hopefully this video helped you practice some of the attributes of cubic and quartic polynomials.